What is she talking about? Now? Let me go to the video footage. I did find video footage of K. Michelle. K. Michelle, we don't want to hear nothing from you, child, because you don't even have your child. Y'all just bring me the children. Y'all don't want to keep y'all children. Bring the children to the queen. I got felonies, but I ain't doing She was on this Joe Buttons. Was it Joe Buttons uh, show? Them, the did show? y'all see Joe Button, little Pekka Walker? Oh, did you see that? Joe Ooh. Button, I don't want you to say nothing else about Nicki Minaj. Please don't. You got a fiance. She get ready to have your baby. How she got pregnant with that? I don't Pekka know. Walker. Did you I see, don't know. Did you see it, Baylor? Did you see it? That pepper walk was so good. Oh, I just thought, I fell into an immediate prayer when I saw the picture. I was like, Father God. That's why he's so angry. Father God. <laughs> God, you blessed me and didn't bless that man. Ooh. You bless him me. Him you know I got a big dick, so. You do. And that dick, when I looked over there at that one, I was like, Father God, no. All that's of that fine he, man that, up there. Ooh, and that's ooh. why he's so angry. Oh. <laughs> All that fine, delicious man. <laughs> look, look, I'm like, oh. Find That's how you got to try to find that little nub. It's way back there. They, ooh. Okay, the video, I, I guess. Well, what Joe Button got going on? He got a talk show or something? Yeah, the podcast they got. You I know, don't they want got you this. to say nothing else about nobody from the shit they sent us in and your little pepper work. I don't know. I'm saying, it says K. Michelle uh, was talking about the situation with Nicki Minaj uh, and the, the song that got took from her and Meek Mill or something. I'm trying to get it to play. This is what she's sitting. She has this thing on. I'm trying to get it to play. Look at her up there. Oh, I'm trying to get it to play. For some strange reason, it will not play. I don't know. That might be the Lord's work. Who knows? Some but reason they to... want to put Kate Michelle on the dock because she's still crying and complaining. You act like you got so many coins. Girl, let that song go. We don't want to hear nothing else from you unless we see you with your child. So that's the next case. Next case. All right. On the next case, we have Meek Mills. You know they want meat meals on the docket because everybody is rallying for meat meals and you know they're calling for, they're trying to get the judge dismissed and trying to do all these rallies. And I feel like we got more political prisoners that we could be concerned about not meat meals. I mean, do your time. You ain't got but two years and you crying. But Stand then, up I in believe that the pain. judge was unfair though. Stand up in your paint, boy. Why is you crying about two years? Now you want to be so gangster, all your songs, you killing and thugging and trapping and doing all this shit you doing, and now you crying about ten years. We ain't gonna waste our get out of jail free card on you crying because you don't want to do two years. It's other political prisoners that we need to be do, uh, holding. Speaking in. of political prisoners, so meet me. That's it for you. Next case. Next case. I'm those basket, those basketball players in China stealing, and the president had to get on his Air Force One to go over there. And See, this is what Donald Trump got to deal with. He ain't got time to be dealing with meat meals crying about no two years. Now, what was they stealing? Girl, I don't know. They probably was over there trying to get some general style chicken. You never know. So Trump went and got him. Yeah, he went and got him. So what, 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 I don't know what Why did he is. go and get him? Did he want it? You know, he, what he wanted? I don't know. You know, he wants some type of credibility. Mm -hmm. Some type of credibility he went over there. Well, y'all niggas better be lucky that Trump went over there and got y'all ass. Because that last motherfucker that went over there and trying to pull them down flags, when they went to get his ass, he was brain dead, came back a goddamn vegetable. So you better be lucky. You better <laughs> take your daddy to go on and get that thank you tweet. To Donald Trump for coming to get your ass for stealing sunglasses, bitch, because you could have came back brain dead like that other nigga that went over there with that bullshit. Next case. Next case. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here, this has been the year. 2017 has been the year of uncovering sexual misconduct from Kevin Spacey <laughs> He's to. He's building the works and the tricks of the enemy. <laughs> oh my God, Russell All your Simmons. Lies. Russell Simmons is here on. Now you know what they should. Russell Simmons had to pay his his little young boys that he was fucking. All them little young models he got head from. He paid them. Now all you saltines done got in trouble. Now y'all want to throw Russell Simmons under the bus. Russell Simmons say he paid his people. Why y'all want to tell on him now that y'all done got caught? You think Kamora knew he was getting a little dick every now and then? But this is all allegedly, because he did release a statement stating... Oh, you know him and Reverend Ron been getting a little dick every now and then. Oh, no. You know they have. But Russell didn't get caught. Now all you motherfuckers done got caught. Now y'all want to bring everybody down with you. Oh, we no. all knew Russell's head was tilted to the side. He the only one decorating houses and doing yoga and going and getting facials and shit. And y'all want to act like y'all didn't know what Russell Simmons been doing. Next case. Next oh, case. Well. Now, now, Kimora did go and get her a black African Zulu goddess and had that little boy. Now, he had them two girls from Russell, but she went and got her African king that had a little boy. 
Now I want to see him. He should be about nine or ten. Now this next case is on the docket for me. Is a per is a, this is very personal to me since we're speaking about sexual misconduct, ladies and gentlemen. Long next on the docket we know. have Wes Goodman. He loves a little dick every now and then. For those of you who don't know who Wes Goodman is, Wes Goodman is an anti-LGBT lawmaker who resigned after being caught in his office having sex with a man. No. According to reports, Republican state legislator Wes Goodman, who consistently publicized his Christian faith to push his anti-LBGT agenda, has resigned after his closeted acts were exposed. Goodman Ooh. usually force-fed the family values narrative, which appears to have been a cover-up for his secret affair to hold up his right-wing legislator persona. This is what Wes Goodman looked like, and this story came via baller alert. There he is. Now, why he couldn't fuck that boy at the hotel? At the hotel. Why was he fucking that Child, it'd be the thrill of the thing. That's how it'd be with them folks be out there having the things on the host road. It'd be the thrill of the situation. It don't really be. He love a little dick every now and then. So, ladies and gentlemen, for me, this is a... This that is need a, to be the cover of the song. It should be. He, his, yeah. his ass. I sentence you, Wes Goodman, to the firing squad for treason against yourself and your people. So Ooh. we want we, I sentence you what to a firing, a firing squad. Firing Death by firing squad. squad. Death by firing Death squad. squad. Death by firing what is, squad. What his wife got to say? Who knows? I didn't see that here in the report. I don't she know. know. Who knows? She ain't know what he was doing. She, they always know. They just sometimes they keep their mouth closed. Well, let's talk about Charles Manson, honey. His... Oh, Lord. Charles Manson. Next on the docket is Charles Manson. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Manson was found dead in the, in the prison. Nobody ain't want to claim his body. Nobody wanted to claim the body. So here at the Queen's Court, we are taking full responsibility for Charles Manson's body. We're taking him back to death row. We're going to give him the gas chamber. Yes. He is to be hung. His body is to be hung by the neck until it snaps. Oh. <laughs> then his body is to be placed in the electric chair. Oh my God. Then we're going to run him through the cremation machine, <laughs> and we are requesting that Hazel E come and swallow the ashes whole. Oh. She gonna choke off Charles Manson? Yes. Ashes? We, we ain't gonna feed him to the vultures? No, we're gonna we're requesting that Hazel E come and they hold her by the nose and her mouth up as. She has to swallow. Hazel E, we want you to swallow Charles Manson's ashes. <laughs> Bitch, I was going to feed his ass to the vultures, but we're going to let you swallow his ashes. We need going. to get her here. She needs to Since get nobody here. else didn't know what to do with his body, that's what we're going to handle. We took care of the body. We're going to handle that. Ladies and gentlemen, Della Reese is now, we want to we want to commend her spirit into heaven. She is tap dancing in heaven. And making them good plates up there, dance she right along with my good sister. Send me that good comedy down here, Bella Reese, and let me take your place and walk in your shoes. Yes. Yes, Bella and, Reese. Uh, is that all that we have on the dock? Is that all? That seems is like. Is there any more gags? We're ready to take some calls. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to open up the phone line. What'd you say, Kaya? Bring me the number yes. and the children, because y'all don't know what to do with them. Open up the lines. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and go get the lines open here so that you guys can get in here in the... Uh... Did anybody know who them Kardashian sisters' baby shower was for? They said that there was a, a baby shower held at the Kardashians' home. They don't know if it was for Chloe, Kim, or, or Kylie. They say Kim got a surrogate mother carrying her child. And Chloe, we don't know if, if, if what's going on. Is she pregnant for real? Or if Kyle is pregnant for real? But there was a baby shower going on at the Kardashian uh, home. And we wanted to know who the baby shower was for. Do anybody know who the baby shower was for? Yeah, one of them kids' mamas. Three of the sisters pregnant at the same time? Do anybody have any of that tea? You, all three of them pregnant at the same time? Sister? All three of them pregnant at the same time. It was a baby shower going on and they don't know if it was for Kylie, Chloe, or Kim. Do anybody have any pictures of the surrogate mother that's carrying Kim and why Kylie? Why, why all these hoes got surrogates? Well, you know Kim got style for Do anybody know who the surrogate mother is that's carrying Kim and Kanye's third child? Because after this baby, Kim gonna divorce Kanye. It's over for him. She gonna get all this goddamn money. We don't know who the baby was for or what the baby name it was a girl or a boy, if it's Kylie or Kim or Chloe. But we waiting to find out who is the next child 
that is being born in the Kardashian in the Kardashians clan. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we about to go ahead and open up the lines. The lines are now open. Jamel, the lines are open. Do we have any callers in the queue? All right, caller six three six seven. You're live with Maddie. What's your name? What's your topic on the docket? And where you calling from? Ooh, they said yes, hi, um, Queen Tanya and Queen Maddie. Hi, hi baby. I'm calling from Detroit, Michigan. Hi. Hello, Detroit. Hi. Yes, um, well, first, before I begin the comment, I wanted to ask if you guys please consider bringing the next caller tour to Detroit. Yes. Yeah, we do. We got to bring it to Detroit. I love Detroit. It's okay, cold. Okay, 30 caller, go ahead. Okay, um, the second thing is I do agree um, when it comes to Miss Evelyn that I do feel like she's wrong for um, putting Tamar's business out there. I feel like she should have allowed Tamar to do that herself when she was ready. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What was her motive behind that? She, maybe she was fed up. You, you never she was she... fed up with putting the chair up against it though. <laughs> Sister, have yeah. some kind of positive light Child, about my it. mama would not have put no chair up against her though. Mama would have came out that bitch with a machete. Yes, we all cry together after this chopped up body is finished getting stewed. <laughs> we ain't finna cry and put no chairs up to no dog. Next caller. All right, call us 2705. You're on live with Maddie and Kaya. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your topic on the docket? Hey, Queen Kaya. Hey, Queen Maddie. Hey, babe. Hi, baby. I was, I'm, I'm just. I got to put both of y'all on the docket because I need to hear y'all in the studio with another hit like Can't Fuck With Me. Yes. You me. can't fuck with me. Yeah. I told Maddie to put a 16 on next call and she started playing. I'm going to do it, sister. You know my sister just went on the glory. Yes. That's, that's why I couldn't. Okay, 30 you know. seconds for the last. Um, I wanted to say when I saw that Jennifer Hudson and Molly music put together, it wasn't really a surprise to me because supposedly David Otunga of Tuga is gay. On the road. Okay. Okay. But did you see, did you sense that he was a traitor Joe's too? Yes, that's what everybody's saying. Oh, he done hung up. Yeah. Like, I want to know do, do are we the only ones that's seeing that he looked like a traitor Joe's? Like. <laughs> He's a Trader Joe's. Mm. Next caller. All right. Next caller, 4733. You're on live with Maddie and Kylie. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's the topic on the docket? Hello. Hello. Go ahead, caller. Hi. Um, I'm Lisa from the cornfield yet again. And I want to send um, Kim Zosiak to the chair. Oh, to the chair. To, uh, I also wanted to do a sentence to Troy. Her husband to be castrated. Ooh. You know, I think it's a down low with Troy, too. No. And something also going on with Troy. children taken away. Um, and, you know, the new baby that she's having, I want to take it away, too. Kim about to have another baby? Yep. Child. She sure is. No, dear God. Kim trying to get all Troy money. He ain't got that much. A team barely want to sign him. <laughs> Phaedra, girl, you better work hard for your seat, girl. Okay. Thank you, okay, Carla. You know, Troy family don't call. really want her own uh, a housewives. No, you talking about Kenya's husband? Troy, I mean, uh, Croy. Croy, Croy. Mm. Uh, Kim Zodiac's husband. Mm. Mm, I didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know that either. I didn't see that. I'm, I'm still watching the season. Next right. caller. We the people. They say they want to send your All ass right, to the chair, Kim. What the hell you done done? Hi, Maddie and Kaya. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your topic on the docket? Hey, Maddie. Hey, Kaya. Hey. Hi, baby. Hey, my name is Phillip. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. I just want to say, Nene told us that Phaedra was the head doctor. You know, she probably put a couple of dicks to get that Wilhelmina uh, contract. Oh, <laughs> Wilhelmina. You know what? Wilhelmina bit you to... Well, what, who you think Phaedra gonna model for? What what company? What brand is she gonna model for? Tory. Lane Bryant? The Tory? The Tory. You don't see her for Tory? You don't see you don't see her for a Tory? I don't see Phaedra, nothing but bad page commercial. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
back Next case. Case. All right, thank What you guys. is Phaedra gonna model with that arm down like that? Now, how you gonna go from a pallbearer to a funeral director to modeling? Who told me? All right, call a 4799. You're live with Maddie and Kylie. What's your name? Where you call them from? And what's your topic on the doctor? Croy had a vasectomy. So, who child is it? Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Kylie, what about Jen Jackson and Jermaine the Greek? I heard they're back home. What? You know what? I like the Kylie, you know, you allegedly broke their relationship up. You allegedly was the one. You that... know what? I don't know what. Everybody act like I've been hating on Janet, but I swear I do not know what the fuck. Because I liked it them together. It seemed like it's, it, it was, it didn't fit. But it did. So I don't know what the fuck she was worried about me for. I don't want Jermaine. Yeah, Jermaine be around too many kids for me. <laughs> Always watch. Ooh. Well, how is the tour going? Which tour? Janet Jackson was on um, tour. Oh, it's always good. You know, that's Janet. He's supposed to be, uh, I think, in Georgia. Okay, Janet. You know, I still fuck with you, whispering ass. <laughs> I don't know, but I do. I, if I had to say yes, I think her and Jermaine worked. It was like, I, I liked it, her and Jermaine. I don't know what happened. Well, Jermaine was cheating. With Candy? No, with some child. Oh. Okay, Next guy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, call the 30040 on live with Maddie and Kylie. What's your name? Where you calling you from? Who's your topic on the back? Yeah, how you doing? All right, now. Hey, baby. Go ahead, call him. Hey, good. I'm just calling about this whole SK thing. How you liking them singing? How you like Tiny Shape and what Candy got going on? Yeah, she got some chicken legs or whatever. Every time she tried to sing that high note in that song, little secret, it just never come out right. I know you want some southern fried chicken. He and said, yeah, she got some chicken legs. I'm supposed to feed them, but I want my money back. You want your money back? Yes, that's what they're out here charging light bill uh, tickets for these shows out there acting too. Are you serious? They said the tickets was $120 because they got to pay Jermaine. They got to pay the, the, the promoter. They got to pay the label. You know, everybody get paid before they do. That's why Candy ain't with that shit. Right, and I don't think the cost of work. And then, like, I feel like the group could be better out Candy anyway, because they made one song already. And now, I really think cool. so, too. I, mm -hmm. real good. I do. I do think so. I think Candy bringing them down. Like, Candy think she's above them. So, go on on and get you another alto bass. Every man. <laughs> right. Okay, thank you, Carla. Thank you, baby. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, next caller, 9745, you're on live with Maddie and Kaya. What's your name, where you calling from, and what's your topic on the docket? Hello. They said the tickets was high as hell. Go ahead, caller. Hello. Hello. Go ahead, caller. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I'm from Chicago. Oh, my God. Mr. Obama, we didn't do it. Hey, call. Hello. All right, caller, 1125, you're on live with Maddie and Kaya. What's your name, where you calling from, and what's your topic on the docket? Hello. Hello. So hey, Paula. Paula. All right, Paula. One one nine seven. You're on live with Matt and Kaya. What's your name? Where you calling from? They What's keep the saying tiny doctor? pregnant. I asked you was tiny Hello. pregnant. <clears throat> Hello. So hey, tiny Paula. being pregnant got nothing to do with them thin ass legs and that booty she done brought. Hello. <laughs> Make sure your background noise is turned down, Carla. Go ahead. You can hear me? Yes. Go ahead, Carla. Yeah, I'm calling from Baltimore, Maryland. Come on. Hi, um, P.S. Made the Seneca. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, I love Baltimore. Mm. Yes. Um, I was saying, uh, as far as Meek Mill. Now, I think it's crazy how he got all this money, but he still keeps, you know what I'm saying, finding his way back in trouble, violating probation. Like, that shit is just ridiculous. Right. And I also want to say, fuck Hazel Eddie. <laughs> fuck that bitch. He got problems with the gay community. I'm a lesbian. All right. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> That's why we sent her to the but swallow like Charles Manson's ashes. Ooh, girl, swallow him whole. Swallow him whole, honey. Don't take Thank a break. Yeah, but I love 
Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, baby. You thank you. We're going to come to Baltimore, too. I love Baltimore. Yes, Baltimore. Is it some Dixon uh, Baltimore? Yeah. Is it some Dixon Baltimore? Ooh, Jesus. Father God. Ooh. <laughs> Look, and beautiful lesbians, as yeah. you already know. Father God. Ooh. All right, Nick, call us 8076. You don't have a letter. And Kaya, what's your name? Where are you calling from? And what's the topic on the docket? Hello. Hello. Go ahead, Paula. Hello? Hello? You ain't see my face. Go ahead, Paula. Hello? What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's your tea? What's your tea, Grab? Grab. Grab. Miss Grab. Miss Grab. Let's talk about this Zaytoven sorority class of 2017 mixtape. Did y'all hear it? Did y'all like it? Y'all make sure y'all get it. The Queen song Petty is on there for all of y'all that liked it to slow it down version. All right. Next caller. All right. Caller 3558. Y'all not what's your name? Where you calling from? And what's the topic on the docket? Hey. Hey. Hi. I just want to say, Kaya, you are a legend. My neck and my back is epic. Thank you. Also, I would like to know how much y'all get paid to do what y'all do. Ooh, girl. Baby. Honey, it could be anywhere from ten to $30,000 a month. It just depends on how your booking Baby. goes. <laughs> Baby. Girl, get you an online show, girl. You get money in your sleep. Yes. Please no. Please no. Please no. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Next caller. Yes. We All good right, over here. Four nine nine three. You on live with Manny and Kai? What's your name? Where you calling from? Or what's your topic on the docket? Hey, hey. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Okay, my name is Vino. I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Houston. Hey, Texas. Hey, I love you guys so much. Hey. And my question really is about escape. Um. How do you feel in general about what they have, what they've been wearing? They tried to bring back the baggy outfits, but then they tried to make it sexy, and I feel like it's not working all together. I mean, Angel Brinks has been, and I like Angel Angel Brinks clothes because I'm I'm I've met Angel Brinks before in L.A. and Angel Brinks has been putting them up in some things. Well, from what I've been seeing on television, I've been liking the way that it looks. Her clothes. I like the way Angel brings clothes look. Yeah. I think they look like some old hags. Tiny body <laughs> is tied. You know, them other sisters need to go on a diet. And Candy barely making it. She done tucked and Sister, stuff. Sister, you see all these nicks. We talking about diet. I need to diet too. That's okay. But I'm just saying. So if you, you know, just know what you're dealing with. You don't, don't just be going on here acting like you fine as hell with them damn Thank two thick ass. Bye. Thank you, baby. Bye. Chabu. I didn't like it. Y'all hoes don't like my teeth and I don't like your motherfucking outfit, bitch. Get me some Invisaligns and get them hoes some motherfucking diet pills. Hello? Next call. Yes, hello. Go ahead, Paula. Tiny face, she fine too. Is she fine? Don't lie, but Maddie and Kanye, what's the name? Where you calling from? And what's your topic on the doctor? This is Brandon from John Street. What's going on, man? Yeah, yes, baby. John What's going on, boo? Man, since Kyle, you bitch out to the fans since day one, bitch, I was a young punk listening to you, bitch. Yes, <laughs> man. Because we supposed to be somewhere turned up right now. <laughs> yes, bitch. Yes. I need to come in the courtroom and work, baby. I need to be on the motherfucking counter, baby. <laughs> Why can't I always somewhere flying? That's true. I believe you fucked your baby. And his daddy. So she, she did. Too she got too emotional. And I know that that's what I felt. I felt like she fought the daddy, but the sisterhood knew. See, Jermaine didn't know. The sisterhood knew. And it was like, bitch, you weren't supposed to told that secret. Now, I don't care how mad we was at each other. Whole, you weren't supposed to let Jermaine know that I fuck his daddy. And I'm still bad about that shit because exactly. I ain't want it. That's what it was. That's why the bitch was crying because she knew it was doing it broke her heart because her sister ratted her out. Yes. I wanted to make her 
know, get on to my 40 seconds, put your home ball on the line, you work the folks off the phone. But look, <laughs> if y'all, I don't know if y'all, 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 all right. Uh, but, um. Think you should be all right, 10 yeah. seconds. Leanne, <laughs> you're on, on the, uh, soul train, the one, y'all be, be still performing, going around here, acting like you're a prince. Uh, you see me, Adrian? Well, an uh, update that we had with Lee Adrian, I be, we've been speaking to the husband that was here, and he told me that their things were moving. Uh, we got things kind of moving in his uh, in his favor, so I guess they're moving forward with the divorce now. What Lee Adrian perform? Why she performing? She needs to speak out. She needs to speak up and defend herself. Why she out here performing on the war shows and shit? She needs to come out. She don't want to talk about <laughs> that though. She don't want nobody to know no, she had all but, them I mean, children out of wedlock, a Christian. But we hear the Queen's Court 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 because people thought that that was a story that we had fabricated. Yeah. But the uh, yeah. the, the personal assistant called in and validated this, mm -hmm. validated that this man that man was her husband. Yes. So. And she she went to moving forward because she she don't want that heat on her ass. So that was good. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, caller. All right, next caller. Two four zero seven. You on line with Maddie? Call you. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's your topic on the topic? Hello, my name is Equilla, and I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. Equal. Hello, Dallas, yes, Texas. Madison, and hello, Kaya. Hi. How are you guys? Hello, Good. darling. I want to put you on the docket, Miss Kaya. I have a quick question for yes. you, if you don't mind. Go ahead, baby. Okay, so I see the Love and Hip Hop Miami coming out. Why was the queen not added to the cast? Because I ain't working for no red bottoms. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I know in the past I kind of heard a little tea with you and Trina. So I was just trying to see, would that be the reason why you wouldn't attempt to be on there? Because I think that'll be a good watch. I know, you know, Mo don't be wanting to pay nobody. And when we already in it, we've already, we already in something. Right yeah, now. well, that's we that too. major. So, you know, we can't make no yeah. moves like that anyway. Well, you know, y'all already established anyway. No, no, no. it would have been a good watch to see if Trina is who, you know, it's been said she is. So I would have loved to see that. You know what? And I'm hoping that Trina do better. I hope she don't get on this TV and really show who she really is. But it seems like... I hope she pull a, a Keisha Cole and be classy on them. Uh, I don't think so. I think she I took the bait. I thought they were classy how Keisha Cole handled love and hip hop. Yeah, I hope so. Because Mona, Mona good at letting you bring the ratchet side of you. So I hope she don't... I, you know, because let her tell her she wasn't going to never do no love and hip-hop, and now she ain't got no more money for no red bottles, and now she doing Well, no you know, that's that extra coin that they be trying to get. But yes, but that's $1,500 an episode. Keep up the good work in T.S. Madison. You a bad bitch. Thank you, yes. baby. Thank you very much. It ain't much. enough for you to be selling your soul on there for that bullshit. You know? I'm so let's hope she don't get on there with that. But I'm anticipating Love and Hip Hop Miami because that's my home. And that, that will make me start watching the franchise again because I actually stopped watching it after Jocelyn left Atlanta. Because no shade, Jocelyn. So was, Jocelyn ain't coming back? Jocelyn was the reason yeah, why I was actually watching that entire stuff because I didn't give a fuck about no Jim Jones and Chris and them shit. I didn't give a fuck. I don't live in New York. So that well, let Jim Jones and Jessica Dime and all the rest of them say it's fake, it's phony, they didn't want to pay for Well, you saw that goddamn phone court not in there with Yandy. You saw that. The phone sitting Jessica over there. Jessica said she had to pay for her own wedding. She tried to do a wedding special. Uh, 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 say, uh, 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 what the bitch name over love and hip hop? She didn't want to do it. Mona Scott didn't want to do it. But then they put this whole fake wedding together for Cardi B and this nigga Offset. So, like I said, when I first predicted that all that shit was fake and that they just he just wanted to do a wedding because Gucci did a wedding, here it come. Here come the wedding. I don't know. I will start back watching it when Love and Hip Hop Miami comes up because I do I, I I am a fan of Trina and I'm that's my hometown and I am a fan of Trick. Mona, know? how about you cut some real chicks and pay some real bitches to be on the show? Because other than that whole no man, we don't want no chicken wings and no red bottles. Knock off from the flea market. <laughs> Next guy. Thank you, friend. Thank you. All so these tiny ass strippers turn around. That storyline is tied. We're calling from the topic on that I Caller. Caller. All right, next caller. Caller 9531, you're on my remedy. And Kaya, what's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your topic on the doctor? 
my topic for one is escape. Good evening, ladies. Well, hello, hey. baby. All the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Me, I uh, love me. The first thing about escape, baby, those outfits just green, mad red, okay? I was over the shoes, I was over the outfits, and I was over time to be in still, baby. Her mouth was stiff, too, okay? Yeah. And the second thing I have on the docket is Miss B. To mind her own business because guess what? If this was whooping Tamar's head, honey, I would hate to think that Miss Lee was acting like Tina Turner's mama when I was her off. It, 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 it played like he stepped on the lady flowers. He didn't step on her flowers. He played her back, whooped on his ass. I would hate to think that was Miss Lee, baby. Jump her husband, her husband, Ding Day, we've been noticing. And Della, baby. Della, they said Della used to get beat up all the time, baby. So One time Della for Miss Lee. But baby, Della is gone. Let's make you rest on. And that's all I had from Miss Tennessee. I love you, ladies. Yes, Thank love you. Yes. We love you and Miss to see Memphis keep it 100. You heard Memphis, all. Memphis just rolled through. Yeah, real Memphis quick. keep it all the way Memphis 1,000. Just through Child, real quick. we already knew Jennifer screaming for her husband, husband, and she got all her family getting murdered too quick for me. Yeah, that was sad. All right. Next caller, 0342. You don't have a Maddie and Kaya. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your topic on the docket? My name is Nicole. I'm calling from Petersburg, Virginia. Virginia. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Kaya. Hi. Hi. And hey, Miss Mary over there in the back, I see you. Yes. Um, over there sleep and make it more. My noise. question is for escape. Ooh. Okay. Kyle, you okay. need to go and uh, make some hits for them. Ooh. That's the only way they're going to make it, baby, if you go make them some hits. I need to go make them some hits. Yes. Y'all call, call y'all record like producers it. call the queen so I can write these girls something because they don't want to hear this old stuff, escape singing. You no. Y'all don't want to hear no. And they, so, sister, you said you don't want to. And they practice and they're trying to sing it through her nose. Girl, you need to help them. Tiny you nose is them. looking like, what is they <laughs> doing? Oh, Thank I you, hate. baby. <laughs> you ain't. Sister, you, I, I'm glad that I they never got back together. And I, 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 so, I'm not going to hate. I just never. I was never. They, so I like, was. I grew up with that. You did? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to hear no new stuff now. No, I wanted to hear them saying what they what made them hot. Cause this, <laughs> these, I don't know if they. You got, don't want to hear no new stuff. Mm -mm. I want to hear what made them hot. I do. I would like to hear them saying that because it made me get in that groove. Cause the way, cause I. If it, it's gonna sound like the old stuff. It's the same way I feel about Kim. I love Kim, but I don't want to hear this new, this new. Yeah. Okay, I don't so want to hear that. You don't want to hear the new music. You want to hear the old. Yeah, because I'm, I'm in love with that old. I'm in love with who they were. I'm in love with that. Like I'm in love with that. And this is why I tried to say earlier that I like the wake me up thing because Remy brought back something that, that the sound that I love that I fell in love with Kim for. And then Kim came on and it was like it had this robotic auto. -tune. I don't like that. I don't like See, it. Pain say he don't like you niggas still in his auto tune no ways. Y'all go get the new T Pain album, motherfuckers. Cause T Pain say he ain't telling. That's me all I'm saying. T look him, T Pain say he ain't give you permission to use Rogers. What's Roger name? Cause he was the originator of that auto tune. But T Pain taking claim for the auto tune, so he said he ain't told y'all. And you know somebody was tagging me on Instagram saying that we was haters and that they never went on video chops. I don't give a fuck about that. That don't. I'm not a hater. Number one, I just don't. Yeah. In I, my pad. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I'm I'm in love with the with the sound that they had before. And yes, people do evolve, so I'm okay with the the evolution of things. But it got to you got to evolve into something greater than than it was. The only before. thing I'm in love with was Papoose and his, that rap he did on him. He needed to write his wife something and just take Lil Kim off the record all the way. Next day! Hey, this is Fresh from South Side of Chicago with DJ Fresh. Hey, how are y'all doing tonight? Hey, <laughs> okay, well, the first thing we want to say is Skip the Chloe and the Kylie being pregnant is that fucking Kanye pregnant. <laughs> what is Kanye doing? Then, I would like to say, I can't stand Lil' Kim from changing her body and looking like a motherfucking fake ass bar. Yeah, I love Kim. The but she bogus for doing that. She just kept the little titties, the no ass, with the pretty ass face. She bogus for that shit. Damn. Why do you think she did that? 
sister. We still oh, ain't got no that? no reason. You said you know, I was saying call her. I heard that she was just being insecure, and I guess because she lost Biggie and she went to jail. I don't know, but that Barbie shit ain't cute, and so is Nikki shit. That shit be deflating. They bogus. We are black queen. But I mean, at the end of the day, look, she got hacking. At the end of the thank day, you, everybody thank has it. They, they okay, want thank y'all. Like, look, I got these big old tiny titties. I, I wasn't born with big old titties. I put them there, you know. But I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't want to get on that because I'm I'm full of surgery and seal and all that type of stuff. So I can't read. And you say you want you a little ass too, don't you? Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. Next I want me some look. ass and teeth. When y'all see me with a whole new grill in this bitch, Next like the rest of them, I know. Next three, three, seven. You don't love everybody in class. What's your name? Who you calling from? What's the topic on the docket? Since hey, you still, one, you still. Y'all this morning from Dallas. How's it going? Hello, Dallas. Yeah, I was just gonna say, how do y'all feel about Rihanna's uncle's uh, knockoff in uh, overseas and she turned them over to the police? What happened? Rihanna's uncle was selling knockoff Pumas in his country, and Rihanna snitched on him. He was selling knockoff Pumas. Is this allegedly? Yeah, Rihanna's this uncle. is a this allegedly happened. It was on the shade room. It was on the shade room. Well, Rihanna, what? Rihanna went back home and she saw that somebody was selling knockoffs of her stuff, so she filed for the claim, and the claim came back to her uncle. So oh. then she had to confront her uncle. What? Okay, you know what? Let me say something. Here's the thing, okay? It, it, was it is is she an ambassador for Puma or something? Rihanna? Yes, yes, she has a contract with. I mean, Puma, that's her. So listen, that's her. Notify rep that Okay, well, that's her. That that could that could circle right back around and bite her in the ass. You know, that's her uncle selling knockoff Pumas. So she, I mean, I think that she did the right thing, you know, but here's the thing. Here's where we, yeah. here is, here is where How we. How y'all feel about all that weight she done gained? I like it. You like the weight? Oh, I like it. The like weight, no makeup? Because, you know, she's all over yes, the magazines for December. I love Rihanna. I love You like it. her thick? Ooh. I got to say this, well, Kaya. I like the little Listen, beard. Kaya, I know you didn't want to say none of this. I got to say this. This is just like when it comes back down to things where people were trying to, uh, come down on us here at the Queen's Court because we didn't speak about things with Nicki Minaj and was and that situation that was going on with her and and her brother. First of all, that's Nicki don't got no dick. Nicki didn't do these things, right. so she don't she should not have been held responsible for anything. Mm -hmm. This is this individual's brother. This is and my brother. That was that was Rihanna's uncle. Her uncle did some fuck shit that that came back that affected her business. Her name with Puma and, and, and X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nikki don't have no dick to be mm -hmm. fucking nobody. Mm -hmm. I, this is... i never seen her openly say, Okay, well, I, this is my brother and I'm in here supporting my brother that he did out this and the whoop the whoop. That puts you in an uncompromising position when something like that happens in your family and you have to sit over here and be like, Oh my God, my brother done did this shit or my uncle done did this shit or my cousin done did this shit. Are you supposed to now hate your brother? Are you supposed to hate them mm -hmm. and get out of here? Or, or do you supposed to just remove yourself from the situation and let the law handle handle it? Mm. So he was selling fake poodles in Barbados? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I don't know why they need that there. But I mean, they, what do you guys think about that? Like, what do you think about no. that? <laughs> what, did the right thing. Like, I, I like, think, okay. you know, that she did the right thing. You know, but family can put you in uncompromising positions. They can do that, but it is not, you are not your family. Everybody has a conscious decision to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love Riri. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. I like the little Riri, but I love Riri. I love Chris Breeze. You know, y'all always act like y'all always talk bad about motherfuckers, but I love Riri and I love Chris Brown too. Yes. I love Tiana Taylor. Mm -hmm. I love Gaga. Right, I don't hate everybody. Girl, a lot of people don't make it. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's the topic? I love Riri and I love Chris Brown too. Make sure your background noise is zero. I love Chris Breezy. Breezy, the crazy Chris. I love him. Rihanna should have just kept taking All right, ass. All right, Paula. That's my baby. Six eight nine six. You're on live with Maddie and Clay. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's the topic on the docket?
Greetings. My Greetings. name is Khadija. I'm calling from Los Angeles, California. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to piggyback what a caller uh, had to say earlier about, um, sorry, it's my cat in the background, um, about Tamar's mom. Now, I just found it really disrespectful and just out of order for her to be so quick to, to have so many negative things to say and putting all of her daughter's business out there yes. like that. And I know my mom and I know my people and I know how they are. And just the idea of going into a closet or wherever she said she went and hiding and praying while her daughter is getting beat down, I just don't see my family doing anything like that. No. It, just seems, it just seems it's weird. And it, initially I thought, well, is, is she just saying this like for Me the show? Too. Are they putting on an act? It just, it just didn't seem right because, I mean, I, all of us who've been following the show long enough know how strong their mom is. She's always the first one to jump up. Oh, go for the jugular. This, 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 right. this. It's just, uh, it, it just didn't sound right to me. It didn't sound right to me either. Sis. I, that's why I was like, well, is this, why is she saying this stuff? And then she didn't even defend her. I was like, this ain't. No. Thank no, you, it's weird. But I love you ladies thank you. very yes, much. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Yes, right. thank, you. thank you. What you think about that, sis? Sister, that puts me in a position to be like, because if you look at it from the outside, looking at it like, well, why would your mama, would you, would your mama go in there and whatever, you know, put put a chair to the door? Because I know my mama coming in there swinging. If you I, better. I do know that. I know Miss Mary coming in there because I remember a story that I told when I was a hooker. Yeah. And a man, and I had a client upstairs, and Miss Mary was over there, or whatever, you know, and she was at the at the kitchen, had a butcher knife. Yes. And like, this was years and years ago. Yes. My mama was ready to go ham. She didn't know what was going. On. I, I was tearing that tearing that man box up, but you know, that's just just that's just what happened. Right. But my mama was ready to take him to the to the to the yes. night floor. So I understand where you're coming from with that. And then, you know, this, when it gets tied up to that television stuff, you know, it makes people have speculations. Like, is they doing this for TV? Is this real? Is it this? Is it that? So, you know, I don't know what to say. Well, you know what? I hope this is just for TV because I, I just don't see her. You got four daughters. Is it four or five of them? It's a bunch. It's a bunch. <laughs> Baby, ain't no way, mom. Because once mama go to Holland, all the sisters are going to go to Holland. That's how it is. If, if once I go to Holland, all, oh, everybody is on my team. So it's like, why would, how you get? I don't know. I don't know. I, that's, that's, I, I want to see the story unfold. I'd like to watch it unfold as mm -hmm. well. So guys, tune in to the show, I'm, I guess. And the We know Shaquan ain't going to help nobody. Sister, what you got with that goddamn girl? You know, because Shekana was at the store acting like people was doing all kind of roots and she was crying, acting like they were trying to kill her. And now I see her on her knees, just looking like a jester. And then I was wondering where she was when Tiny and Tamar was going through what they was going through because they all was closed. And that Tiny ain't, ain't helping Tamar fight Vince. Shekana ain't nowhere to be found. You know, she all on here letting Keisha K. Or treat her like shit, tell her in her face she can't be in the way and all she can do is sit down at our feet and hold our bags because you is trash. And, you know, I want to know why she ain't helping Tamar and Tiny. Next caller. Next caller. <laughs> caller 2555. Five, you know, know using your friend to help you. Let a nigga been going outside your head. I'd have been at this bitch with my pistol. Oh, shit. I've been outside that nigga head with a pistol. <laughs> you know I'm playing. Girl, caller, get you some new friends, girl. Two, you online with Maddie and Kai. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's your topic on the docket? Hello? Hello? Go ahead, caller. Oh, my God. I got to doing Hi, hey. baby. How, How you doing? doing? I love you guys. My name is Richard. I'm from the Woodlands, Texas. Yes, Texas. I want to talk about Jennifer Hudson's um, husband. I want to say that he loved his wife and loved his wife. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, <laughs> yes, sis. That's the new song for 2018. Everybody get caught. That's all I want to say. Oh, I'm gagging. Yes, sis. <laughs> so you think you think uh, right, you next. think uh, uh, Jennifer screaming for know her husband like a little dick every now and then. Everybody knows what they know in the beginning, right? Yeah. If you're on the outside looking, you can't be that oblivious. Jennifer knew nothing about it. Where you calling from and what the topic on the back is? Oh my God! Hello. Hello. Thirty seconds, caller. Go ahead. Oh God. Oh my God, I love you. 
I love you. Louisiana. Louisiana. Yes. I love you, baby. Why look Kim was looking like my, my mama turkey in the oven and then and then put him in a feed video? Why? Why was she? Why why she look why she look like a He said my mama and turkey why, in my oven. And why she want I why and why she want home why she want somebody to be a home and we don't even know who she is no more like she said she looks like an Asian white little Asian woman. We don't even know who she is. Oh, and wait, hey, guys, you, go, you go bring you gotta bring the you gotta bring the sword in New Orleans. Oh, I, oh, I'm hoping we get to New Orleans. I'm on it. Y'all make sure y'all book please, for the next please, call of tour. Please, please bring it to New Orleans and T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison, you got to say it. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, Kim, you got to bring it to New Orleans. Hey, all right, next caller. Y'all want to talk five, about four, Lil Mo Hugs been getting called? No. Nope. You know, it's allegedly. Hey, good evening, lady. How you doing tonight? <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, T.S. Madison and Harvey. Hi, 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 Harvey. I love you, baby. That's my baby, I Harvey. Hi, Harvey. I have a quick question regarding the, uh, the, the, the Queen's Court tour. Yes. Um, are y'all, how close, if at all, are y'all coming to Washington, D.C.? And will you be doing the meet and greet? Oh, I hope we come into Washington, D.C. We won't know until January. Yeah. Um, we pretty much booked up for December with the cities that we're going to be in. So we're going to put the new calendar up for January. And hopefully we get some promoters in D.C. to get us down there. Yeah. 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 But, you know, but if not, okay, honey, honey, you know. I love you so much. And anyway, one quick thing to piggyback off of what you said, Kaya, concerning uh, Evelyn Braxton. I find it mighty funny. In the Tony Braxton biopic that came on Lifetime, when she simply found out that her husband was cheating on her, she had him locked in a room with a with a with a, with a butcher knife. The so mom. You, know, you go from having your own husband end up in a room with a butcher to hiding from your son in law. Ooh, look at the tea. How that work? How that work? I got to look this up because I said something was fishy about that because I said, what's going on? We don't know yet until we see what the ratings come out. Yeah, there's show. a dead cat on the line somewhere, but I love y'all. So it much. sure is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Jamel, we're going to need to wrap this up a little bit because I don't really want to go into the two-hour mark. We're kind of going yeah, we, a little bit long. Wait a minute. Is Evelyn moving? We're in our last two callers. Let's uh, get it done. Your last two. All right. Call us 6687. You're online. We're ready. Call you. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's the topic on the doctor? Hey, my neck, my back, pick my pussy, and my crack. Yes, yeah, right okay. now. Hello. What's going on? Hey, hey baby. baby. Hey, baby. I just wanted, I wanted to send love and condolences um, for uh, Miss Eva. Thank you. And yes. I would like to, I, I love you, and may she rest in peace and sleep in peace. Yes. And Kaya, I love you. And I was wondering, Miss Kaya, can you please do the Queen's Court with all these hoes you want to get a concert with in Central Park? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Come on. Bring them all to Central Park and let's turn up. And let's turn up. I keep telling them to stop this beef. That's what I'm saying. Ain't no beef. Nobody don't owe you no homage. Put a show together and let everybody come out and enjoy the show. Right. Yes, and call the call the tour of the Queen's Court and bring all the hoes together. Madison, I love you. Um, <laughs> please take care of Miss Mary uh, and yeah. my condolences. I, Kai, I love you. I, I love, love you, baby. Thank, Thank you, baby. Thank you, Carla. We need to do a Queen's right, Tour. Let's call her. Call her 8076. You're on live with Maddie and Kai. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your topic on the docket? Call her. All right, that was the last These call. These two hours Hold on. Yeah, it go, go face like we're going to... Uh, listen, I have somebody... Uh, Swan Decker has been calling me, and uh, Swan Decker said that uh, she was having a problem with Keisha Cole or something like that. Something happened. Uh, something happened. Let me call Swan Decker. Hold on. See if I can get Swan Decker on the line. She was Swan Decker. <clears throat> Out there in South Carolina. Swan Decker, where you at? Hello. What happened with with Hello. you? What happened in in Carolina? Um, Keisha Cole was booked, and she shouldn't have got booked. They should have just had you up there because you more entertaining. But what happened? I saw a video. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.
Okay, so um, first of all, she got there 45 minutes late, which is fine. You know how she lives. Do they get there late or whatever? So she gets there. You know, and I'm and I'm not gonna lie, like I and I was mad because I really like her. You know, I like her music. I listen to her. You know, all of that. So I was excited to see the people. So she gets up there. She's like, um, what y'all want me to sing? So we we yelling at the top of our lungs. What we want her to motherfucking sing? She's gonna look at me and say, I'm not doing all of this. Well, bitch, what you here for if you're not doing all of this? Mm-mm. So then, the DJ, then the DJ starts playing her music. He's playing the shit that he already got because she ain't got no new shit out. They don't play it in the club. They don't really give a fuck about it. You feel me? They've they been saying she, she make music for fish fry. Mm-mm. So, you, you know, you, you're really lucky to be, in, to be in the building. You know what I'm saying? So, he gets to playing the music. She's like, oh, this not the right version. So I'm yelling out loud, well, girl, what version is it, girl? <laughs> like, girl, this is the only one we know. What, you need a little lip singing version? What's going on? Mm-mm. So then, so then she looks at me, and she's like, well, you're doing too much. You're too much. I said, no, bitch, I'm being myself. You feel me? I said, something you should be. You really need to humble yourself because you're trying to embarrass motherfuckers because y'all fucking up because you don't got your own DJ. You know, I thought that artists have their own DJ, you know, when they come to play. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. you gonna, you, then you're going to yell on the microphone, oh, we know who ain't getting paid tonight. Like, girl, why, who, why are you trying to be little somebody? Mm-mm. With them $20, with them $20 books on. Oh, no. Well, yeah, where was this concert at? They was paid to the left. Huh? Where was the concert? The concert was in Star Lounge in Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville. Oh, I love Greenville. 